Hey everybody, Hale and welcome back to this episode of Midgard Musings and another episode in our Words of Wisdom series, which is what we're calling it for right now, wherein I read some various randomly selected stanzas from the Hovamal. Uh, my name is Jesse, I'm the host here on this channel. If this is your first time watching my content, thank you so much. And if you are interested in things pertaining to Norse heathenry, Germanic paganism, also true, you know, those sorts of things. Uh, please subscribe to the channel right down here, and if you don't want to miss anything, be sure to click the bell notifications. That way you get told about any time that I upload new content, go live, and do whatever I do here on YouTube. Okay, so today's episode is um, around stanza 134, just a randomly selected stanza, as I mentioned before. Um, we're doing these three days a week just to kind of give you guys some things to think about, uh, coming from a pretty uh, popular and uh, mostly largely important piece of uh, texts and sources from uh, the Poetic Edda. So the Hovamal being, you know, the words of the High One, generally referenced as being words of wisdom from Odin. Um, so anyways, without further ado, today's stanza coming from the Hovamal, the stanza 134. And again, as I mentioned before, the version of the Hovamal that I'm reading from is Dr. Jackson Crawford's translation um, as found in the Wanderer's Hovamal. There are a few different literary, or uh, linguistic things from his version in the uh, in his version of the Poetic Edda that he has since changed or updated um, academically speaking. So we're going to be reading from this one. Anyways, stanza 134. I counsel you, Lord Fafnir, if you'll take my advice, you'll profit if you learn it. It'll do you good if you remember it. Never laugh at an old man. There is often wisdom in what old men say. Wise words will often come from a gray-bearded mouth, from the one who hangs with dried skins, who swings with dried skins, who waves with despicable men. Um, so to me, this stanza is a, um, a, a good admonition to respect your elders, you know? Um, don't uh, speak ill of those who have walked Midgard for longer than you. Um, now, does age always equate to wisdom? No, because you can be doing the same thing repeatedly over and over and over, and it'd be likely the, the wrong or, or immoral thing to do. However, for the most part, you know, with age comes wisdom, and experience comes wisdom. Um, one of the parts of this uh, stanza that kind of stands out to me is, um, you know, wise words will often come from a gray bearded mouth from the ones who hang with dried skins, who swing with dried skins, who wave with despicable men. Um, now, it's an interesting word to use despicable in this translation, and there are some um, notes in this version of the Hallmall course. You might be reading different versions. You got the Hollander translation, Bellows translation, Bray, you know, um, different ones that are probably going to say different things. Um, but for me, again, this stanza. Uh, is that, you know, you, you should credit and you should honor and show honor to those who have been around and that have seen some things and that have experienced some things, whether it be with less than savory folks or, or, or have done some things that have maybe wisened them up to be able to speak educatedly um, and, and wisely on such things. So honor your elders, respect your elders. I think it's an important stanza to bear in mind, especially nowadays. Um, most of the younger generation, and maybe not most, but a good portion of the younger generation, have no sense of um, respecting your elders. Um, so kids out there watching, um, bear in mind that it is um, a good idea to honor your elders and to learn from your elders. So anyways, everyone, that is today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of stuff from me and channels like me, Share them around, comment, interact. It gets the uh, algorithms to recognize that this is the type of stuff that needs to be circulated. So definitely interact down in the comments. Let us know what you think. Thank you all again so much for watching. Hail. I'll see you in the next video.